Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you a very quick and easy way to add a decal image to any shaped object in Blender 2.8 and this will work with the EV render engine even with PNG images which have a transparent background. So I'm first of all just going to create a sort of organic shape that my image is going to be applied to. So I'm going to add a subdivision surface to a cube, then a displace, make a new texture and set that from image and movie to clouds make the size a bit bigger about there and another subdivision surface and put that one up to three and then finally object set shading smooth there we go now there's an add-on which you need to use for this tutorial you won't be able to import the images the way I'm doing without the add-on so you need to go to edit preferences add-ons search for image and then here it is, import images as plain. So just check that box, save user preferences, and now the add-on is in. So you've already got this add-on in Blender, you just need to turn it on, it comes default installed. So now you can press Shift A, image, and then images as planes, and you can choose any image you want. So I'm just gonna use this logo here. And now I'm gonna G, X, and just drag it on the X axis. Go to seven to go to top view. And what you need to make sure is that your image is as close to the edge as possible. Now if you go into render view, you'll see that the blank parts of the image, I'll just move this light to make it a bit clearer, the blank parts of this image don't look as they're supposed to, they're black instead of being you know, transparent. So first of all we need to go over to the render tab here, check ambient occlusion, bloom, screen space reflections, also click refraction, and then uncheck half res trace. And I'm going to scale this down a bit here. And it's still not done anything because we need to go to shading tab over here and we need to make sure that the individual material has screen space refraction turned on and the blend mode is set from opaque to alpha blend. And now when you do Alt A to deselect, you see it's worked perfectly. Light's passing through these bits in between where the PNG image says that it's transparent. So now we need to make it actually wrap onto this object behind it. So to do that, I'm going to go back into solid view, select this image, add modifier and subdivision surface and set it to simple. And then I'm going to put this at four so it's quite accurate. So all this is doing is adding subdivisions the same way you would in edit mode. So it's not going to smooth anything, but it is going to make it have a higher poly count. So what this means is that when we now go add modifier, shrink wrap and choose our object, I'm going to up the offset so that it's at the front, object shade smooth but you'll see that it's got you know, enough geometry to be able to wrap to it, so it won't work unless you've got this subdivision to add some uh, extra poly to this image. And now when we go to rendered, there you go, it's, it's wrapped perfectly onto the back, so it looks a bit strange when you've got really strange shaped objects, but this will work best for say you've got a model of a car and you want to just put a sponsor logo on the side or something like that, it'll work for anything you want in Blender you just need to make sure that both the object behind and the image object you're using have a high enough subdivision surface that it won't warp the image around the edges. So if you've enjoyed this tutorial please consider giving it a like, um, share it with anyone you think will find it useful and thanks for watching.